Hello, bridal party. Welcome to the Alchemist Bride channel. I am the bride. This is my lab where I will be creating drawing experiments to get better at drawing. Um, do you hear that? I actually lost my voice again. Um, so I'm squeaky again, but that's okay. It's all right. I, last week we did, what did we do last week? I worked on the cart, so I started to do the whole marketplace, and then I realized one of the most important things, which is the cart. I totally forgot, but the cart's done. I'll bring it up again. Hang on. It's not even in here anymore. Hang on, hang on. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Do I got it? Oh, I hope I have it. Oh my, where'd it go? I did draw it. There's, those are ships. Okay, now I'm in a panic because where is it? How deep do I, it, I didn't draw that much. It's gotta be here. Ah, here we go. Ah, so we have the cart, which actually I need. I don't know why I'm gonna pull it in here because um, I need to reference it. Anyway, so last week I started to draw this marketplace, but then I realized I needed to kind of design this cart officially for the lead character. This is the character, her cart. Now she has a cow, thanks to last stream, um, and her bird, but yeah, so she has her alchemy cart where she sells her various alchemical wares, and um, now I have to draw the rest of the marketplace using, hopefully, some semblance of perspective. Here's the thing. I don't have books anymore. They had to go back to the library, so I have to kind of use what I already have on screen um, and hope for the best. Um, yeah, I'm going to hope for the best here. So, first of all, let me, so I, I'm definitely going to draw this today. Last week, the marketplace is a tease. Today, the marketplace is not a tease. We're, we're going to get through, um, at least laying it out for today. Her cart will still be here. Um, I'm going to redraw it because I actually do want it to be on a, where is this even? Call this something else. Um, I'm gonna I want it to be on an angle. I don't want it to be straight on. I want it to be like you're seeing kind of a corner of it a little bit. So I'm gonna redraw that. I don't really re need the roughs anymore. Although they did help um, with proportions and stuff. But if I'm looking at this. You're gonna get more of like the side of it, I think. The shape I'm gonna go for. It's like a hybrid between these two. Um, so I wanna see the back of it still. But I also wanna see some of the side of it. So, let's see, how do I wanna do that? Yeah, I don't know that it's quite 10 feet. It's, I'm being liberal with the grid. Uh, I don't know that I want it perfectly in perspective. So... I'm gonna make sure it makes sense in this space. Maybe for simplicity's sake, I do want it in perspective. I'm not sure, but at least I know what it looks like, right? <laughs> we got we got that far. At least I know what it looks like. Um. Okay. It's gonna be somewhat in perspective. I guess no matter how I. I kind of want it to be, and I'll figure out the perspective later, but I want to see, I want it to be sitting like this. Um, I 
Oh, that's weird. Why did I do that? Okay, sorry. The interface is being weird. Okay, so I got what I think I kind of want my cart to do. This kind of thing. Okay, so this is the angle I want to see the cart at. Um, a wheel. And a wheel. And then we'll have the little camera cart come down out of this. The door like this, like that. Right? And then you'll see. I think I think it'll be open. So what so it looks to me, at least for this particular one, that I've kind of created my own perspective on it. Okay, so I'm gonna see how that goes. Um Because it just it has its own perspective within the space, and you know that's okay. It's fine. I'm just gonna commit to it. Is all. Because I think it could have its own vanishing points within the vanishing points. I think that's okay. So like this will be at this kind of angle. Pretty sure. Um, and like these windows will be part of it. Gosh, I gotta get my ruler handy. The wheels, make sure the wheels line up. Got the little window here. It's a lot easier to draw from perspective, like when you know the structure of what it is <clears throat> you're drawing. Um, and like the proportion of what you're drawing to. So this thing is, it's like two and a half wheels high, right? So that looks right. Just a little bit of a curve at the top. just have its just stuff that doesn't change. Okay. Um, I don't really need these rocks anymore. Okay, so this is where her card will be. Um, that's where it sits in the space. I think that looks mostly right. I'm not going to worry about it too much right now. As long as it looks nice and grounded, I'm good with it. Um, she also has, because yeah, I have my little layout. I'm a little grid paper. It helps to lay things out. At least it's helped me quite a bit. She's also going to have like a little, I don't know, tent type of thing. Okay, but I wanted her at an angle. So this is my ground plane here. Not everything needs to be at the same angle though. I mean, maybe she's not. Like just a little extra like Now what I want, I get rid of all that. It's crazy. Too much. 
um, I want it in this perspective now. So we have this ground plane here. sure because I kind of think in some ways that's too much depth but maybe not I think that looks a little bit more <coughs> natural gosh this is gonna be a coffee nasally kind of day at least my voice is back. I definitely did lose my voice again this uh, past weekend. Just annoying. I have a little door here. Okay. So there's the cart. Um, again, not sure if it's totally grounded. But I, th I think it'll be right. Because then there'll be kind of a stall here. So I'm going to make it all simple and put the rest of these in you know, somewhat perspective. But this is, here's the other thing. It's too big. It's too big because it's too tall. I'm going to make this much smaller right now. ends up not looking right, I'll fix it. I'm just not sure. Yeah, I'm just not sure. Because it's relative to, let me try to figure this out. relative to this. Okay, so if we have wanted to show the cart with a little bit of depth. Okay, now we've got stall like here. So we're saying this fence, this is where it gets tricky. I don't think I have it right because if this is, what did I say it was? Like, she's like, she was like this tall and she's like five feet. So it's like 10 feet. Okay, so if we're saying this is 10 feet, This is our 10 foot mark at that point in time. Okay, 
Like these are all the stalls. I think, I think. Or at least close to it. Oh, uh, thank you. Thank you for checking in. I hope you have a good work day. It's okay. I don't know if I'll be chatting much too, but my voice is hanging in there. At least for now. We'll see. We'll see how it is in two hours. <laughs> it's always something. Luckily, it wasn't really a sore throat or anything. I mean, it was for a little while. I did have a little cold. I mentioned that last week. I did have a cold, and then because I had a cold, it turned into... Uh, me losing my voice because um, I still decided to do stuff, so that's my fault, partially. I gotta figure out. Okay, so I think these are where kind of the stalls are gonna go. So I'm going to have another layer with roughs. Um, okay. So all of these... are subject to this sort of thing. Wherever they are. So if this is 10 feet, this is like 5, so these are like people size. So if, for example, Phineas is standing at her part, and then you've got somebody standing here. That's about the depth that we're getting. Um, No, they're standing here. Okay, so it really feels like we're kind of getting the perspective that I've established anyway. It looks like we're getting kind of an overhead view. Um, this would also be like a head. Maybe somebody's got a hat. I don't know. Um, so this is sort of the view we have. And then we just need to build in some stalls. She's got neighbors. Um, let's see. All right, well she has, okay. I don't even know how to. I laid this out, but I'm not sure how I laid it out is how it's going to actually be. If we're looking at it like this, she's on the corner. There is a... Let's see, so if this is a 10 foot square. So maybe we make it... <laughs> You're so helpful. Thank you so much. I'm certainly happy to have you help. I appreciate it. Okay. So maybe that's like a stall there. And then... Next to her, she's got her friend. He's got... All right. 
he's got kind of thing going. Probably the boring part. The fun part is the, you know, seeing what is in this the market. You know, I assume that would be the that would be the fun part. There's a stall here. You now imagine this. It's like a square. It's got a bunch of. The trick is too though, I want her to be the focal point, so I don't want to put too much in front of her. But on the same note, it's a bustling marketplace. Nobody else has a cart. Everyone else has, like, tents. Um, they have, like, tents and various setups. Oh, interesting. Okay, so. It's just me breathing. <laughs> on the table here um, for that depth. There's some tables and basket type things here. I mean, I want it to look like small, but really bustling. Maybe this 
is like at an angle. There's like a wall. And maybe we got, I don't know, some of the scenery or something. I can't remember. I may have to look up. I feel like how this is where the marketplace is almost built into the city. Maybe that looks really cool. So maybe I'll have some of those elements. I mean, yeah, I mean, I guess. Okay. Let's almost have like a, like a bridge or something. Need some water to back here. Yeah, look something up real quick. I've forgotten something about my perspective training, which is oh my gosh. Where is where is the where is where does everything line up? Is what I'm kind of forgetting. figures on the horizon line. Yeah, okay. The figures don't hang on the horizon line in this case, though. They hang below it. Yeah, they 
be two minutes. Okay. All right, so, boy, this isn't exactly how I wanted it to be. But it looks bustling and I kind of like it. So let's see what happens. I'm going to go with it and kind of see what happens. Um, all right, so I will have like a pole here. I'm just going to start somewhere. I put a pole here. Um, <clears throat> Excuse me. Hey, I'm gonna hydrate. I'm not totally recovered from the cold I had. <coughs> I feel a lot better, but I'm still coughing, so I apologize. It's probably gross. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me, my goodness. Let me look up tents. I don't know why I'm trying to make this up. Tents exist. Tents in a marketplace. Let me see. Oh, good image. Okay. These are like current tents, though. Have they really... Has, te has tent technology changed that much over time? I don't think so. They just have canopies and blankets and stuff. You're just trying to like... Ooh, that's a cool one. Just trying to... Get people to buy your stuff, essentially. Um, but I need some help. So let me see. I just saw a good one. I just scrolled. I scrolled away from it, of course. Come back. Where'd you go? Oh boy. What's that? Oh, no, not you. Not you. Ooh. Fancy. Fancier than it needs to be. Uh. <laughs> I'm just describing it with words. I guess I could show you, but then I'd have to like show you. My sloppy scrolling. Well, I don't know where the really good one went, but these are fine. I like how I like how this is set up too. Wow. If you could see what I was seeing. <laughs> This is like almost rude. Okay, um, I wish I could find just the one tent that I saw. Oh, how pretty. Um, now I want to go to a street festival. This is so... Oh, I found it. Okay, all right. <clears throat> um, oh wow, okay. So there's that tent. There's this tent. And this tent. I'm just gonna I'm not gonna draw any of these for real. I just wanted to like reference them to make sure I was in kind of the right ballpark when I'm drawing them. Again, I don't think there's a lot of rockets in it. It's a tent, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Okay. So this is the top of my tent here. It's gonna have a little bit of a Fabric top. Oh, let me see. It kind of goes like that. Um, I just want this to go a little deeper. Get a little more depth. Um, let's see. Because I think this comes like up, and then you're gonna have another piece of fabric just kind of flapping on the other side. Or wrapping around, whatever. I guess it'll do whatever I want it to do. It's my drawing. The 
more realistic, the more believable it looks, the more it sets the scene, the better it is for the story. Okay, so that's not right. Though I liked it. Come up and like over and almost that. Well, it's not really attached. Maybe it should be. I add some. Attach. You know, in case the wind blows or something. It's windy. They're kind of coastal. I assume. There's water involved, right? Um, and I think these are wood, they're not obviously metal poles. comes up, helps it along. Okay. Um, so if we're in perspective now. I don't know how good the perspective is here, but I'm trying. Um, let's make this one like a fruit market. So I'll add some, I don't know. Okay, I think I'm just gonna put in the stalls and then I'm gonna put in the stuff that's in the stalls like, kind of after. Let me set up the structure of this like thing first. Um, so there's like one stall. Um, let's put in this stall here. Same kind of thing. Wooden beam.
I do feel like there's a second point of perspective in here. Uh, <clears throat> I'm winging it right now. I might regret that later. Similar to the cart, it's sort of on its own. Like, I don't know, perspective path? Just out of curiosity, I don't know where those go. So if that goes there, then there's gonna be like a table. But that's not, it's not right. So I'm gonna ignore it. Because it's still relative to this perspective. table. It's hard because when you mess it up, you really mess it up. If it's wrong, it's wrong. And it's really obvious, especially when you're trying to use straight lines. That's what makes it kind of extra difficult. Because you kind of, you don't have room for error. Unlike if you're working with a figure or something. Kind of chalk it up to style a little bit, but with the perspective's off. I don't like this one. I don't know what to say about it. It didn't turn out right. Let me see what I had in mind here because I feel like it looks right here for some reason. So... Um... this around. With the depths like this. Right? A little more like that. I like that better. More believable. Not perfect, but markedly more believable. So, if that's where I go. It's 
then these should line up to look like a box, you know, in this space, right? Buy that. I uh, I buy it. I don't know if you buy it, but I buy it. <laughs> Okay, then we've got Okay, then we've got, I don't really know how to figure out the top of this thing. I, I, feel, I feel like it comes across pretty flat. Um, so I'm gonna give it like a, this kind of thing. See how it feels.
I don't know why this doesn't totally look right, so let me play with it a little bit. Probably because I didn't quite use my perspective the way I was supposed to. Except this one. I'm gonna put more stuff on it. I just wanted a sense of kind of where the roof would be. Maybe it's got a little thing on the top. A little. I said I wasn't gonna get into a lot of detail with it just yet, but. I'll forget. See this little decorative thing over here. Something like that, something cute. That is the nice part about doing it from a computer. You can kind of tweak those things and play with it, as opposed to just redrawing it over and over and over. I mean, you have to draw it anyway, but. Kind of a quick fix, just to try something out, kind of non-committal. sits in the space. If this is the foot, you know, it's this right here. It's just sitting there. I think it's okay. I don't know if it's technically super perfect. Uh, obviously, I, I know it's not technically super perfect, but you know, I still think it works. So let me steal whatever line. I don't know what line is happening here. Here's the problem I have. If she's five feet here, and then if I go here, right, who's this person? I feel like this is too either too big or too small. <coughs> because it'll matter later. Because <coughs> it's all relative. No, I think I messed this up, you guys. I think 
I messed this up. And not every experiment is a success. Maybe I'm overreacting, maybe it's okay. But if this person is here moving through the space, I mean, they're not ha When I do it like this, it seems right. Because even if this person was standing here, you know, they'd be looking at fruit and whatever. But what I was looking up earlier with the perspective thing is like you can hang somebody you can hang all the heads on the same line. But I don't think that applies here. I gotta read it again. Because. Maybe that only. I don't know if that's a universal rule. Or just like a helpful rule when you get lost in perspective, which I do often. Um, I'm gonna read it. I found it on. It's called Perspective Cheat Hanging Figures on the Horizon Line. A perspective grid can still be useful to making sure everything lines up, but being able to guesstimate environment by understanding where in space the characters are is so valuable. Which I agree. But you can get a good guess of the perspective without doing a full complicated grid. Figure every figure that's roughly the same height will run to the horizon line at the exact same part of their body. This works for any part of the body. <sighs> okay. So what it's saying, like, here's my point. My problem is this. <clears throat> here's my horizon line. Here. I'll make it a different color. Okay. This is my person. They're not on the horizon line at all. So every, oh, wait, actually, I think this does work proportionately. So everything is, they're almost everything, everything will hang off the, <laughs> I think I figured it out. Everything will hang off the horizon this much. So if I, is that right? Okay. If I take this, this is my figure back here, and I make it big here. Then my person, hear me out, is this big, which is what I was going for, which is sort of what I sketched out earlier. I just wanted to make sure that I was still within the rules of perspective while I was creating this, because otherwise it's going to be problematic earlier as I build out the space and try to put things in the space that is breathable and, and, and like believable. So the less correct the perspective is, the less believable the space becomes. How much you want to, you know, use that strictly is up to you as an artist for sure. But I'm happy that my eyeballing to some degree has worked, but let me say this. I don't know about this rooftop right here. This one. The one that I was about to do. This right here. Um, because, dude, their face is here. Well, maybe. Maybe it's fine. I don't know. Alright, so I'm going to keep that in mind. So she's actually hanging just off of that. Off of that line there. I don't actually need the rest of this. Well, I'll leave that. I'll leave that line there. Okay, back to the stalls. So now that I know that my perspective is mostly -ish correct, I do think this part here. Now that I'm looking at it a little bit closer, this part. screwed this up too, but that's okay, I think. 
You know what I'm saying? Maybe I messed it up. I don't think so. I think that's more right. <laughs> Woo! That's what I mean. Perspective is kind of tricky. Is that better than before? Let's see. All right. There's that one. I'm going to turn everything else off and just look at this. There's that. this is better. Um, I'm not sure what else to say about it. I think it's bad. I think my, I think this is weird. are kind of off. I mean, it's all kind of off. I just want it to be like off in the right way. Let's see what we got there. I know, I think what bothers me is if I know that if I was doing the perspective perfectly, perfectly, then I wouldn't have to guess as much and this wouldn't be taking as long. So in that way, it's a bit of a failure. But I'm also kind of challenging myself to break away from the limitations of only staying the lines in the one point perspective because I want to be able to play within the space. So we'll see how that shakes out. Um... I lost my color overlay there. Color I want this one. You want it to be blue. All right. Um. I'm just gonna call this person proportion. I don't know. Okay. Uh, let's see. I think this, you guys don't need this right now. So I'm going to put this away. Let me move this over. I don't need the swatches really. Let's make this whole thing a little bigger. Um, <clears throat> okay. So if we have a stall here. I'm really buy I buy this one easily. Believability wise, I believe that there's a stall back here. And here I can use the perspective if I want. I really can. the rest of it pretty easily. this kind of thing happening, I don't know. The 
fabric can kind of make up for the fact that I don't know what I'm doing. Ooh, that is not, okay, this needs to be center. This. Maybe if it tilts back, fine, but still not right. Center. Goodness gracious. figure out kind of where somewhere there comes up to like here drops down So whatever this stall's got. I gotta quit working because what was dumb about that is there's one next to it. And so I did all that detail on the side for kind of nothing. So I have another one right next to it. This one. Uh, let's have this one come out a little bit. Maybe. This kind of thing. I enjoy that very much. Very much I enjoy that. I gotta find the center though. Let's see. Something like here. The center's like here. So they're gonna come like this. Ah! Aha! 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 It matters! <laughs> I'm, now these are going to be rough sketches again. So I have like the round coming out part. Like that. Ten, five. And just all kinds of stuff. Maybe it's actually a little lovely then people can come in. Okay. Let's do... Ooh, I hate to cover that up now. I did that cute little stall and now... Oh, so cute. <coughs> Something's gonna go in front of it though. <coughs> Excuse me. Again, I apologize for the coughing. I am recovering from a cold. Some sort of stall here. Some sort of stall right back here. Back here. 
here. I mean, these could be like stacked baskets and stuff. I'm going to get into that later. Just want to get the depth of this place going. Let's put a building here. All right, so I love the building in the background. I think that's great. Um, they're going to be like awnings. It hasn't come out that far. Look, I made that more complicated than it needed to be. Keep it simple. Just want to put a building back here as like a backdrop. So I want to have like I don't know, maybe a wall. I don't know, like a brick wall back here, some sort of wall, and then commit to a building here. It's gonna be bigger than that because it's a whole building. Provincial. wall here. These guys like flower pots or something. Um, all right, unclear. I mean, I do want to put it, I want to put something here. Maybe this has a flat roof. Really flat. It's weird that this would have nothing behind it, too. This is gonna be, this is, has to be a, a booth in the round. Right. So they're getting sales from all sides. Which, with that in mind, yeah, it's bigger than that. Whatever. <laughs> Let's get this 
structure in here first. And then of course I will come in and add whatever it is I need to add. Man, I thought her cart took a long time. Weef. This one would also have this other like side to it for here. I guess there's no real front, they're just kind of all, you know, selling whatever they're selling. This one a little bigger. Okay, it doesn't need a shelf over here, but maybe it has like a little wall or something. They're hanging stuff from it like this. These two might be tied together. Why not? Whatever. And then we see. Let's see if the shelves pop out. I don't know. Okay. Now we got another stall here. Right? I'm all for I'm like, hey guys, is that right? I'm all follow. <laughs> Are you watching the feed? Oh boy. Like you guys can see what I'm doing. Right. Woof. I'm like right on the end there like that. That feels like a mistake, but... Uh, I feel like we need... Okay, so there's this one here. Presumably... We've got one here, like here somewhere. Right. I would love to get good enough at this where this is like not nearly as stressful because I feel like this could go wrong at any point. I'm not doing a great job. Like, I'm trying.
try, but I'm not feeling confident about it. Though, with that in mind, I still like it. I like doing it. But not, not feeling confident about it. Uh, Alright, this is her. Install. I don't even know what this has. This, you can go in this one. It doesn't have a wall. You just walk right in. And he's got perfumes, fabrics, rugs. Um, he just has them going up. Maybe they're hanging. I don't know. He's got a shelf with some. He's got like stuff in the street a little bit. Um, all these guys are gonna have like stuff out, especially the fruit guy. I mean, there's gonna be like a basket here, right? To figure out where the ground plane is. Basket, basket. What's this guy sell? It's a, is this the baker? This can be the baker. Sure. Somebody sells chickens and ducks. Maybe it's also this guy. There's a candy. There's a candy store in here somewhere. Maybe it's this one. All right. Why does this look so weird? It's obviously not correct. The other problem too is this is, I mean, it should be like this, right? I'm feeling skittish, like I keep going back and forth on it. Total lack of confidence on this. But with that said, I again I still like it. This whole I think Oh, that fixed it actually quite a bit, I think. I think this one's kind of suffers from the same thing. Hmm. Where is the front of this and where is the side, you know? And it can be kind of shabby, but it still has to make sense. Because once you establish a space, everything is relative to the space that you've established. That's what's really kind of critical here. The rules apply to once you put things in there are no rules until you put things in and then the rules are relative to everything else the 
So to be confident in it, you have to be clear on you know what, what your rules are. Computer wants to do a software update. Like, hello, I'm in the middle of setting the chart reading right now. Okay, I'm gonna bring back my person. So, if my human is working the booth and they are standing inside. Somebody back here has got to be selling fish. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, I guess ultimately it doesn't matter. It matters to me what they're selling, but I suppose it doesn't matter. Chicken people. There's gotta be somebody that has like cages. I don't, I don't know, I, it's really hard for me to have perspective to say whether this is coming along or not. You know, I feel like maybe it is. <laughs> hard to say, hard to say truly.
All right, and then of course, Vanessa's cart we have here. Power box, and then she's got where she pops out, sells from it. Boop -ba -doo. Boop -ba -doo. And then she does have like some table, like a table out. That's not in perspective. Let's look at it. Okay, again, if she's this high, tables are going to be about this high, right? She's got a little table like here. Let's throw some stuff on. And then maybe like another table here. Excuse me, just got an extra stuff. And I got water. Well, it's so scratchy. Again, it doesn't hurt. I'm just very annoyed at this point. <coughs> Thursday will be better. table there. It's not working out, but I like that table. Um, <coughs> okay, so we have our cart. We have this like wall back here. Ooh, doo -doo. And then the wall kind of continues here, like behind her. It's a stone wall back here. I don't see a ton of. And then like more buildings probably. Cause it's like in town. Like people can come. You know, the entrance is somewhere over here, right? And you can walk in. I assume. Uh Windows are probably a little too big because, again, it's further away.
one of these buildings houses her apartment. She doesn't live in her cart. Uh, she does live in the Curly Marketplace because she references it later. Or I'm sorry, the Marillion Marketplace. We've gone through some name changes. <clears throat> that's the country. She's from Marillion. That's the country she's from. You're just getting snippets of the comic without actually having to read it. I'm just lore dropping all over the place. Drop, drop, drop. Lore, lore, lore. What is this chick talking about? Got some clouds. It's, of course, it's always a beautiful day in Morelia. Uh, and there is water. Uh, maybe there's like, some grass. I don't think so. I think this is mostly like dirt. Right? This is like dirt and stuff. People are fine. Um, <clears throat> so now that I have my person, pro pers <laughs> person proportions up, let me make the people like orange or something. Eh. People. Alright, so say we got Alright, so anybody standing here? Is this tall? Standing here. And this tall. Be standing here. Which are you? You're gonna be this tall. If you're in the foreground here, or even up close like this. Too close. A little too close. Here. Okay. So we have that. Um, Guides for that. So if I put my people in, you know, there's the people, a person standing here. I think I'll take a banana. This person's head here. Person buying something here. Something's got a buddy. Maybe they have a buggy. Bustling day. All kinds of folks. Ooh, there's even people at her cart. Check this stuff out. <clears throat> folks over here, uh, they're going to be the same size. Talk, 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 guy. We have this guy. Yeah, that would be too distracting. We do an individual that's inside. Food place here. Individual here. Let's populate it, right? Big. Up here. Don't need that anymore. Take 
portion. And also... I'm gonna save because I haven't saved yet. My goodness. Okay. <clears throat> I don't think I need the roughs anymore. Here, here were my roughs for reference. Um, I don't need the roughs anymore. So now we've got. I like the people. Do I want more people? It's just like more to draw, you know? I like it. Again, I don't know if it's perfectly perspective-ish. In particular, I think some of these in the front are kind of throwing off the illusion. I don't know why I feel that way. Just a little. It's more of a focal point. I kind of wonder how many layers I should do this in. Um, whether this, the background should be one layer and then move forward and then forward again. Whether it should be three layers. Um, I'm not sure. I do think I'm going to do the background in a different layer, uh, like the back back where the buildings are. Uh, probably. <clears throat> And then, like the back stalls, and then, so the back stalls being, alright, so maybe I should, here's what I should do. the people. Gosh. I can see on the heads up screen that it's responding in real time, but my computer, my, my monitor isn't 
reacting to the frame rate as quickly as I'd like it to. Okay, so this whole section here, the wall, um, this area, all backdrop. Then we'll do this area here. This, uh, this here, some of this in here. Not her cart. Color. Got I see this section of stalls here. And maybe his too, actually. And her cart probably. And then this here. And this here. We'll make Okay, so then we've got Yeah. I think that's how I think that's how this is going to have to go. Um, software update's not giving up. It's 11 in the morning on a Tuesday. Who's doing a software update at 11 in the morning on a Tuesday? Anyway, um, okay, okay. So, mid stalls, cart. And then foreground. It's not such a delay. And I apologize if my reaction time seems slow. I'm not getting it in the same. The frame rate's not fast enough for me. Okay, it's just not refreshing. Um. This is definitely workable at this point. There's uh, zero chance of finishing this today, let alone on the stream. Uh, this might be where I leave it. Maybe I'll play with it a little bit kind of after. I'm not sure. Um, oh, let's put the people back. I love how bustling it looks. I love how the people look. The people really give it like life I know they're just like stick figures with with floating heads but um, you know I like how it turned out I feel like I'm gonna walk into a busy marketplace which is the look I was going for but there's a lot of little details in here that I want to add that I want to get make have it give life to so um, I don't want to rush it. This is going to be a lot of drawing. <laughs> Comic books are a lot of drawing. Don't let anyone fool you. Um, there is no question that they are a, a crazy amount of like love, love work. Um, yeah, no, no question. Roughs and inks, yeah. So we're gonna organize that. The cart needs to go somewhere up here. I'm just gonna set this up. 
this is gonna be open, so let's just. Uh, how do I want to do this? These guys together just to make it easier to reference when I would need to. Um, and I think even on the roughs, let me add. Whoops. Let me add a um, mask. To get rid of all the noise a little bit. While I go to do it. Um, don't worry, it's still there. But while I want to focus on one thing, uh, it'll make it a little simpler. Maybe. Uh, not for that, but for the cart specifically. Um, I'll just put it in there as I cart next to it. I just need to be able to reference it. I might not even need it like on screen really. In fact, I might put it on screen up here so that you can see the cart. I can see the cart kind of separately. I think we're good. I think. Oddly enough, this experiment d seemed like it was going to be a failure, turned into a success, um, at least for now, although it's not complete. I still have more, t I still have more tests to run. <laughs> um, but, you know, all in all, for being sick and missing a bunch of time, I feel like it turned out really good and I'm pretty happy with it. So, um, cause I've definitely never done this kind of thing before. Um, I'm going to leave it as is. I will be back Thursday to complete some of it. I don't expect to finish it. This might be a longer one like the palace was. Um, with good reason. Oh, you know what else we need back here? Real quick. While I'm thinking about it. Um, there's gotta be some ships out here, right? Did all that work on ships? I'm going to put them in? Come on. All right, that is the end of this experiment. Um, see you guys Thursday. See you guys next time. I will be here. We're gonna keep we're gonna keep chipping away at this perspective thing until I'm real, a lot more confident with it. Thanks so much, guys. See you on the next one. Bye.